TikTok actively hates the people who use its app. Um, and they won't let you promote anything on this app with any level of effectiveness whatsoever unless it's something within the app, like TikTok Shop. Anyway, whatever. Uh, please enjoy the following uh, clip from my latest podcast episode, Coffee with Hawk. Uh, you can find links in my link tree. Please go check out our podcast page and uh, please subscribe. We're trying to build that up because they're going to take TikTok away if TikTok doesn't self-immolate and destroy itself first. I hate this app. All right, everybody, welcome back to another episode of Coffee with Hawk with your host, me, Hawk. Uh, It is very early in the morning on Wednesday, September 25th. There is a lot going on. Um, We're going to talk about current polling. We're going to talk about upcoming voting. We're going to talk about the filibuster, Project 2025, uh, who is taking over the Republican Party. We're going to talk about Infowars there, and we're going to talk about the death penalty and how J.D. Vance doesn't show up for his job in the Senate anymore. Uh, and Biden's new freewheeling attitude now that he's got four months left in office, Trump's love of tariffs, Jared Kushner's $2 billion Saudi Arabian investment fund. Uh, Let's see, Mike Johnson, Mike Johnson, fuck Mike Johnson. Can I just say that? Fuck Mike Johnson, Speaker of the House. We're going to talk about Florida and Texas. We're going to talk about upcoming town halls. Jack Smith, he's got a filing due tomorrow. And uh, we're going to talk about Nebraska. And we are going to talk about how every Trump wants everybody talking about racism, bigotry, and immigrants. That's his campaign. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about Hezbollah and Israel and Facebook and Meta and yada, yada, yada. All right. Let's dive right in. Kamala Harris holds an absolutely massive lead over Donald Trump among young voters, 18 to 29 year olds. Kamala Harris is up 64 to 32. She has a 28 point lead in that demographic. There is a significant enthusiasm gap between young Democrats and young Republicans with 74 percent of young Democrats saying they will definitely vote. It's a 14 point spread over young Republicans. Uh, there's a gender gap this election that's going to be sane, it, it, in, insane. It's going to be 30 or 35 points, meaning that Kamala Harris is up uh, among likely female voters by over 30 points. Donald Trump is up with men by 12 points. It's going to be 35 or 40 percent, the gender gap, which is bonkers. Uh, 